Good morning campers, <clears throat> it's almost 7 o'clock and we're just packing up and we're going to get ready to do Ben Tarson in the next hour or so, so um, I'll pack up the tent and I'll bring you back in a moment. Right well, we uh, drove up to the end of Glen Rosa, uh, parked up just near the campsite and you've got two three kilometres on a track and then this is us now onto the hillside head up Ben Tarson we started off in the dark just to buy ourselves some more time we've got the uh, 25 ferry to catch because we would have liked to have done Kervor as well but I just don't think time or daylight will allow and it's Hogmanay today so I need to get back before the bells <laughs> that's us been going pretty much an hour now we went through a kissing gate just down there now once you went through the gate, it's gone a bit soggy underfoot. Could have done with a nice deep frost, but it's rather mild. Anyway, if I pan up, this is Ben Noose. That's our first target there. It's a rather tasty looking peak. Then we continue on. It's a wee ridge, I don't know if the camera's picking that out. And then the Corbett must just be beyond there. Ben Tarson. There's goat felt. This does not feel like the end of December. I'm down to my base layer again. The sweat was pouring off my back like a fishmonger's window. Right. We're getting there though. Uh, let's have a look. That's our first target there, Ben Noose, just above Stevie. Looking east back towards mainland. There's a temperature inversion right across the sea there. It's a bit hazy. It's looking a grand day, absolutely stunning. Just on the last pull up to the first top of Ben Noose and uh, the views have changed dramatically since. You can maybe make out Ailsa Craig, it's like a shark fin popping out the water there. And this is the west coast of Arran. And then you've got the Mull Peninsula, or sorry, the Mull of Kintyre, I should say. I can just see Ben Lomond through the gap there. It's obviously Goat Fell and North Goat Fell. And you've got Kervor on the left that's just framing that gap. Yes, made it. This is the top of Ben Noose. Wait till you see the views. Look at that. <whistles> right, after a, a quick photo stop, this is us heading down now. And our next target is uh, Ben Tarson. for a quick break before we head along the ridge. Stevie spotted a, a plane wreck just coming up 
Ben Noose there. It was a B24 Liberator or something ah, like that. I, think, like I, I missed it unfortunately. Too busy marching up to the summit. Too busy marching while well, I was struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll meet a soul today because Nah, not even Kevin Russell. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're raging, Kev. <laughs> this is us back on the move after a short break. Just keeping our eyes peeled for the old man of Tarson is basically a rock formation that looks like an old man. And it's just before the final ascent, so Stevie's been checking just about every rock, making sure we don't miss it. We should be around here somewhere, Stevie. Aye. Just know that one there. Yeah, there it is. Uh -huh. uh huh. Finally. I'm sensing that sometimes the sun can be good. Ah, it needs to stand back a bit, Robin. Stand not, back. Stand at it. Is that alright? I'm a wee bit yet, mate. Ah, cause it's, it's just a silhouette photo, you know what I mean? That's alright. Wow, just, this is amazing. Right now, I'll go over to the other top. <laughs> Right, here we go. Wow. What a day. This is stunning. There's Kervor. It looks so close, I want to do it. So tempting. And there's the last one. The Cachel Avel or something like that. Anyway, this boulder here will be the summit. This would be an amazing whale camp spot. I should keep these ideas to myself, but <laughs> there you go, look at that. Flats of pancake, a couple of tents. I've stayed and watched that cloud inversion all day, but I suppose we better get going. Got a ferry to catch and all that. <laughs> Aye. Really in and two tacks and just weaving in and out of the boulders. <clears throat> right, we're just making our way down. It's, there's some mild scrambling. It wouldn't cause you any issues in the summer, but because it's December and we're in the shade on the north side, there's a lot of icy patches that, if you're not careful, will send you flying. But uh, the scrambling wasn't difficult. Maybe a wee bit more just beyond there. Because we're aiming for just down there. But you can see what I mean, the rocks there just little patches of black ice here and there just to be careful and for us. So that there is our third and last target of the day and this path seems to lead underneath this. We're not convinced so we're gonna have a look. The path seems to be going somewhere. Bit of a drop down there if you've got vertigo though.
わThat's us back on the ridge That path's not for the faint hearted I mean, there's nothing dodgy but it wouldn't be everybody's cup of tea Just a bit close to the edge Almost at the top of the very last summit of the day. This name escapes me, but there's three bends on this circuit, and this is the last one. Oh. There you go. That cloud we seen earlier is all burnt off. And there's goat fell again. Here for in the centre. I look at Ben Tarson, it's a it's a beast of mountain, look at that wall of rock and its different formations. Looks impenetrable from this side. It's a beast. What a cracker. It's one ferry going out and one ferry coming in. Wonder if they flash their lights each other like bus drivers. Right mate, how's it going? No bad. Anyway, we're almost at the path that we started on this morning and then we're going to walk down and pick up the Glen Rosa track out. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier, it's Hogmanay today. This video will probably be out in a few days from now but I'll still wish you all a happy new year and I'll see you in 2020. Thanks for watching, cheers. Breathe in, Stevie. Breathe in. <laughs>